Hi guys, welcome back. Honda has finally launched the updated 2019 version of the CB Shine SP125. Well, you won't notice the change at a first glance because it's not a major upgrade and in fact it's just a simple one but a very effective one and it's the updation of the brakes. So now the Shine SP125 drum brake variant or more precisely the base variant comes equipped with CBS or combi braking system. And that's the variant we tested. The pricing of the base variant, which is the Shine SP125 drum with CBS, is approximately 66,999 Indian rupees ex showroom. And for that price, what you get is a bit of sporty looking commuter bike, which is powered by Honda's 124.73cc engine. The engine is the same one used on the previous Shine SP, and this engine can produce maximum net power of 10.16 bhp at 7500 rpm and maximum net torque of 10.30 Nm at 5500 rpm. It's not a very powerful engine, but since it's a commuter bike mainly intended for city commutes, this engine is not a disappointment. The Shine SP125 has a 5 speed gearbox coupled to the engine, and the gear shifting is smooth and the gear shift ratio is evenly laid out. This engine has a peppy nature and on the first gear it's a bit agile. The engine is very well refined and tuned perfectly for city use. Overtaking is not an issue because the bike accelerates pretty quickly. There is no vibration from any parts for speed up to 70 km per hour and the bike feels smooth. You can push further and hit 80 plus mark without much of an issue but then you can feel the engine getting a bit stressed and also while riding about 80 plus km per hour I felt a slight bit of vibration on the foot peg. But as I said earlier, this is a proper city commuter bike and you won't be constantly hitting that speed and hence it's not a big deal. Now you can take this bike for moderately long rides because I tried riding continuously for 50 km and still I didn't feel any discomfort and that's because the seating poster is very upright with no stress on your body. And also the suspensions used are good where the front is a telescopic suspension and the rear is a spring loaded hydraulic suspension. The suspension didn't feel stiff and also while riding through rough patches, I didn't notice much stress or strain. But the seats used for the Shine SP125 has average comfort for both the rider and the pillion, but during your daily city rides, it's fine. Now, a couple of places where commuter bikes have issues is the brakes and the tires. Companies don't use good brakes and also they generally use very small tires. The small tires is to improve the mileage and also to reduce the cost. And it's the same thing with the Shine SP. Both the tires used are very small tires measuring just 80 mm in thickness but luckily both are tubeless tires. And coming to the brakes, the brakes used varies based on the variant you choose and the one I have tested is the base variant where the front and the rear is 130 mm drum brake. So pretty bad on paper because both are just drum brakes but now since it's mandatory from April 2019 for companies to equip either CBS or ABS based on the engine capacity, we finally get CBS here. So CBS which is combined braking system or combi braking system is a technology in which both the brakes are applied simultaneously to provide a much better stopping. It works like this, when you apply a rear brake, there is an equalizer which distributes the braking force between the front and rear wheels simultaneously. And here with the addition of CBS, the braking has actually improved. I didn't experience any skids while doing some quick brakes even though the brakes used here are just drum brakes and I feel this is a welcome change. And even though it's not a very drastic one, this addition adds a bit of safety. Now you still have to keep in mind that with the addition of CBS, even though the braking has improved a bit, but please do ride within the limits. And as of now, for the new version of the Shine SP125, this is the only change that Honda did. The bike's design still remains the same. For this segment, you get a sporty looking headlight unit with a windshield and some graphics. The headlight is halogen and its visibility is not at all good. I would say it's below average and in extreme dark conditions, this headlight doesn't perform well. Then the meter console is the same digital analog one with good visibility during daytime. Then for the handlebar, it's a classic commuter style handlebar with black accent and it has all the necessary switch controls. Now the fuel tank is sporty with curves and has a tank shroud with body graphics and the tank capacity is 10.5 liters. Now for the mileage, during our testing, we got approximately 60 km per liter in city traffic. The rear of the bike is not very attractive and looks kind of simple and the pillion grab rail used here has a rubbery texture which makes it a very comfortable one for the pillion to hold. And finally in the design side you get a stylish muffler 
with a black muffler protector which also has a chrome accent. And that's all for the design of the new Shine SP125. It looks the same and also feels the same like the previous one and the main and the only update that you get here is the inclusion of CBS. And to conclude, the Shine SP125 is a good commuter bike which has a bit of sportiness in terms of looks and performance and if you are in the market looking for a daily use city bike and you don't want the classic style commuter design that's very common, the Shine SP125 is a good option. That's up for this video guys. If you liked it, please do hit the like button and please do subscribe. See you again in the next video. Till then, bye.